Here I'm going to show you how to secure your valuables, particularly a laptop, while you're traveling abroad. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways to do this or methods that you can combine to make sure that you don't have anything stolen. So I've been traveling for now a year, I think, or just about, staying in hostels and um, other people's places, and I haven't had anything stolen yet. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um, and I've got phone and you know all the other crap that you carry around when you are uh, traveling. So the first thing is, if you look at my stuff here, well, it's not exactly completely organized, but you can't necessarily tell that I have a laptop. Now, if you know what that cable is, you could, but it's generally not out. Um, so if people don't know that you have a lot of valuables, that's really going to protect you. So maybe you don't take your laptop out in front of everyone if you're worried about it being stolen and try not to have a flashy laptop, um, particularly Apple's, I would say, because it's very easy to identify those and they cost more than other laptops, so they are a bigger target. Um, but after you've got your stuff in your bags, one thing I always do is to make sure that the bags are locked. So I've got a lock here and I can just put it on, see the little tiny holes there. I can just put it through there so that someone cannot open the bag to see if there are any valuables in it. Now they could cut the bag, but for the most part the thieves are going to want to get in and out quickly so that no one sees them. So just make it a little bit more difficult to steal your stuff than the person next to you and you'll probably be okay. Um, I've also got a lock on that bag and you know put it in this bag or this bag or wherever you want to put your stuff just don't make it obvious you know what's going on. Um, now let's see. Also, I don't think this needs to be said but maybe it does, don't ever leave your stuff out. Don't ever leave money or credit cards out. Don't ever leave your cell phone out. So I've got a cell phone here on the table but I'm in the room. But I would not, well this is a small dorm, I'm not worried, but I would not set the phone down here and go to sleep there. A lot of people that I know have had their phone stolen that way. Or if they have it next to their head at night and they're sleeping and they're having it charged, they've had it stolen from there as well. So you really don't want to leave your stuff out, you don't want anyone to be able to grab it or anything like that. Um, now let's see. Specific to laptops, let's get this guy out. This is a different laptop than I previously had. I would never ever leave that out. But what I got with this laptop is a cable. And this is one thick mofo. So for the cable, what you can do is just plug it into a lock on the laptop. And a lot of electronics have this and then tie it around something. So you can tie it around a bed, I don't know, table, bench, cabinets, whatever, so that someone can't actually pick it up and take it away. Now, that's really useful if you need to do something like backup photos or files, or if you want to, let's say, just leave your laptop on your bed while you go to the bathroom, you wanna have this dude locking your laptop up to the metal frame or the wooden frame or whatever of your bed. That way when you're in the bathroom, someone just can't come in, grab it, and run out. And don't feel safe just because you know the person in your room. The person who's in your room, or who's sharing the room with you, may not be the one to take it. Oftentimes, hostels have people going in and out of other people's rooms, especially if you have some drinks and you're like, oh, come back to my room, whatever, and you have five, six, seven, eight people in there and you have the door open, people, people can just come in and out, grab stuff and go. So never, ever just leave it sitting there. Now, here's an interesting predicament. So, where do I attach this laptop? I have a table, can't really do it there. I could do it to the chair, but that'd be odd and I'd probably knock it over. Um, I guess I could do it to the handle, worst case scenario, but I wouldn't trust that because you can usually just pull the drawers out. Uh, and I actually had to look for a minute here where I could do it. So if you lift up the mattress, there are these holes everywhere. And the holes, well, some of them, go all the way through. So I put the cable through there, or try and feed it through there, around the wooden frame, and then loop it around and tie it to the lap, or attach it to the laptop. So be creative when you're trying to find a way to secure your stuff. 
that's really quite important. And also, I forgot to mention this, um, I have the cable for the laptop, but I also have, I've shown this in a previous video, this kind of cable. So when you have your stuff in your bag and your bag is locked, well, someone could grab the bag and just walk away. So if you attach this to something, just like you might attach this, and then just loop it through your bag. Don't loop it through the shoulder straps. You can easily just unhook those usually. Loop it through something like this and this, you know, this. So the point being, once again, to make it more difficult for your stuff to be stolen. And um, if you follow those tips, it really should work well for you and you should be able to <laughs> hold on to your stuff. Um, I follow those tips and so far I've had no problems while abroad. But I definitely do, I didn't have this in the beginning, but I definitely do recommend this now um, to be able to attach your laptop to something. It's kind of big and cumbersome, but it, uh, I think it, it really works and it makes me feel quite secure with my stuff. So that's pretty much um, what I would say you should do to secure your valuables or your electronics, especially your laptop while you are traveling abroad.